everybody, my name is Furby2, and welcome to Franbo. A uh, quick description about the game is that we, uh, Franbo is a point-and-click horror game where we play as Fran. A girl who was severely traumatized by a certain event that which led her to stay at a mental institute or an insane asylum. And we have to escape it to find our missing cat. And somehow, we gain the ability to travel between worlds. If you have any opinions or anything to say about the video right here, just please leave a comment on the comment section down below. Other than that, let's get started, shall we? Everything is fine. Oh. It feels like heaven. I love the music here. I see my parents. They look happy. I bet. I bet they do. They have a present for me, I wonder. What could it be? It's a cat. So sweet and pretty. Aww. Dark as the deepest night. <laughs> I wonder what you're gonna name it. It's Mr. Midnight. Of course it's Mr. Midnight. My best friend. All oh, animals are best friends, mostly. My only friend. Oh, that's cute. Who's that? We are having dinner. And I see Aunt Grace. Oh. Your aunt, huh? I really like her a lot. It's Friday. My parents are going out. Aunt Grace takes good care of me. We are having so much fun. It seems like they're like a big happy family. And she's having more fun with the cat. It's Monday night, I'm playing with Mr. Midnight. So fun. But something feels real bad. You have the window open. Oh, whoa. What in the world is that? A strange creature outside my window. It is strange, it's got horns. I don't like it. It scares me. Of course, he's got sharp teeth and horns. Suddenly, I hear something. It's Mom, screaming. Oh, don't go over there. Please don't. I want to know what's wrong. I bet you do, but you're not going to like it. A bright light shines from my parents' room. Girl, I go closer. I hope you're brave enough. And closer. That's a bloody knife right there. And a body. Oh. Oh my. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Poor kid. Poor, poor kid. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh. Oh no. Poor kid. She is definitely in shock right now. Uh, but the cat's staying by her side. That's cute, that's sweet. What are you looking at, cat? What are you looking at, Mr. Midnight? Who is it? Who are you afraid of? Who are they? The man and a woman. And they're wearing hoods. I don't like that at all. What are they, a cult? Or something? Fran, please follow my voice. On the count of three, you will wake up. One, two, three. Friend, how do you feel? Honestly, I feel like dying. I feel like dying. I don't understand why you made me do this. Try to calm down. This is part of your recovery. I mean, seriously, my dude. I have. Recovery, do you, don't you get it? My parents are dead. Of course! It's fresh in the memories. Yeah, if you see if you see something like that, of course you're not gonna forget about it. Oh poor thing. Everything will get better, I promise. Better? Then let me go. That would be better. Certainly would. You should not tell me how to do my job. I'm telling you how I should feel. Now, I have something for you, friend. <laughs> what is it? 
See the desk? There's a little package for you. It's from Aunt Grace. Take it. Alright. I think the only thing we can do is just take this. It's her mother's purse. No. Open it. There is something inside. Alright. There's a note. Dearest friend, here is the purse you like so much. I thought you would like to have it. When I was thinking about you, I remembered that you like to examine objects and combine them with other things. So I hope you'll always keep this purse and give it and all the other things you find a good use. Never forget that creativity is absolutely the greatest gift you have. Love, Aunt Grace. She is worried about you. I'm worried too, honestly. Stop it! You're out of control, young lady. Honestly, I'm just like so tired of them all for this or just... Man, can I go to my room now? You can. Yes, you can leave. But before you go, it is time for your medicine. No more medicine. It's called Duotine. And it'll make you feel relaxed. Nurse, we're ready. <laughs> Anything new today, Dr. Tia? I, I don't know how to pronounce that name. <laughs> Nothing. Actually, same visions as before. Oh, I see. Here, friend, take your medicine. Alright. This must be the pills here. I wonder what the side effects of those pills are. I'm sure it doesn't feel good. Oh, oh my god, oh gee, oh, 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 that's some really bad medicine, <laughs> oh no, take her back to her room, the nurse, don't let her take this again, well I'm pretty sure that this medicine is just meant, it's already messing with her head, alright, beware Fembo, there's the monster right there, the house of madness. I will hunt you down, catch you, and bring you back to insanity. I'm pretty sure that you already are insane. Let's run, wake up. The medicine will help you escape. I'll be waiting for you in the forest. I love you. Of course you do. You're my favorite cat. <laughs> okay. I'm going to slide this keyboard back a bit. Actually, I'm just going to bring here. Chapter 1, My Sober Day. Alright. I think what I'm going to try to do here is try to complete this entire chapter as uh, fast as I can. But I'm going to do a lot of different examining and a lot of searching. So it might take a longer video. I'm still here. Hideous place. Of course it's hideous. It's an insane asylum. And you do need to get out of here. This place is too bad for you. Alright, let's look at this. The patient was found near the Oswald Asylum, showing signs of psychosis. The Bo Dagenhart family tragedy. Details omitted. Treatment. Uh, Dr. Marcel Dearn has tried different medications and all have been cancelled because of the side effects. And she's age 10. It's a good last name, though. Alright, let's look at everywhere here. Oh, this ooh, ooh. Well, we kind of broke the uh, curtain, but at least we got an item. What's this down here? It's a, it's like a music box. And of course, when I'm tired, hopefully this won't fall on my head. I'm pretty sure it might, because Porter won't. <laughs> I look at your nose. I get it. Are you a happy clown? Can you make me laugh? Yeah, you're having a hard time to laugh because, well, you're in here. All right, let's see. Red and tiny, you are hiding from me. I will find you, Mr. Midnight, I promise. Don't be afraid, my dear kitty. Everything will be all right. Uh, you should hate the monster. He's the one that murdered your parents. I have to find Mr. Midnight. I have to find him now. I miss my kitty. He hides because he's afraid. He told me that the medicine would show me where he is. I gotta be careful not to click the... Alright, so, 
I think that's all we could find here. The, the desk, a uh, little drawer thing, was um, locked. Right. Let me use this. Oh, there's a key here. Wait, actually, I'm gonna click on everything to see if I find anything here. Hope somebody loves you. Hello again, Mr. Teddy. Yeah, alright. Wooden horse, are you having a good time? Back and forth. Alright. <clears throat> Is a nice dolly. And of course, the door is locked. If I sit down, I will eventually get up. So what's the point? That is a good question. Alright. This boy's name is Fillmore Bronstone. Age 8. The patient so a patient came to all school in the asylum with his, mom, with his mother, Rachel Bronstone. The boy has developed paranoid behavior. Paranoia. Not yet diagnosed. Of course, daily treatment. Dr. Dr. Dearn. We have not achieved the patient's trust. They refuse to be questioned. All right. Hello, Phil. Hello. <laughs> hmm. Let's see. I could say, how are you? Everybody says that I'm sick. Hmm. They are just... They always say that. They are just stupid. Are you leaving tonight? I will, if you help me. The only thing I know is that the office is the key. There's a key inside? The key? Is the key inside the office? I saw the doctor write a secret code. A secret code? To open the yellow door? He doesn't want me to tell you. Who? Yeah, who? Him. Who is him? What? Oh! It's that thing. All doors are closed. You are my prisoner of my game. And nobody will help you escape. I'm pretty sure no one will. Yeah, we got a good close look at the thing that murdered our mom and dad, and Jesus, he's scary. And look, she wasn't. She's already afraid by it. She saw him close, then saw her parents died or dismembered, and all right. Okay, so we that's all we could do here because we first encountered the very thing that ruined our lives and murdered our parents. Or her parents. <laughs> Alright. And I believe we can Alright, let's talk to the nurse for a bit. Oh uh, friend, you're awake. Good. Yeah, how long I was asleep? Three days maybe. <clears throat> oh no, so many days. I should find Kitty. Your cat is probably dead, girl. Now leave. I'm looking. Oh no, I forgot. Something happened. See? You're nothing but trouble. What is it? I was trying to look outside and I accidentally broke the curtains. Pfft, accidentally. I have to fix this. Follow me. Okay. Clearly she hates her job and clearly she hates children. <laughs> like a lot. Alright, let's talk to her some more. Something is busy. Have you seen the hook that holds the curtains up? No, miss. I haven't seen anything. Well, I have to go and find something to fix this. You little girl. Woman, you were you used to be a girl. Alright. Okay, we've sent her away. Let's let's see what we can look at the uh, desks here. Alright, so we have a band-aid. A box of band-aid. Ooh, what's this? This little chest has a code. And what is this down here? Oh my goodness, this is terrible. I'm sure it's terrible. It's a gun. Why would the nurse have this? She wants to kill us all. I'm pretty sure she wants to. We bother her. Hey, can we take it? I'll leave it as it is. I really need to get out of this place. Ay, ay, ay. Alright. And there's this book here. Let me see. Traumas. Mm -hmm. The trauma is a word for Dr. Theory law to say. <laughs> I just misread it. Hee hee, the brain looks like a turtle. Yeah, the brain is so complex. Anyway, if you guys want to read all that, you can pause the video and just uh, read it. And, um, I can't read that. It's cursive. I can barely read cursive here. Alright, and. Okay. 
And there's some significance to the numbers here, so... Alright, let's accept, let's, let's let's take a look at the uh, box here. Okay. Hide. H-I-D-E. Okay, so... Let's take a look at the paper again. And there are some letters that ends the I here, so... H-8-I-9-D-E. 8-9-4-5. Alright. 8... Nine, four, five? Nine, four, and five. And the pills! The guy told us that it might help us. Yes, I'm sure it will. Let's take one. I really am glad that what this might look like when we took the pills again. Oh, man. We see a, we see a, nur a dead nurse. Writings on the wall, blood everywhere. Rats. There's a little blood in your mouth. Mommy also had blood in her mouth. She looked sad. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Miss Nurse. Are you alright? <laughs> uh, I, I like it when she's just cr asking questions here. And I see a uh, um, uh, knitting kit. And we got ourselves a... Uh... It. Oh. Oh. Okay. There's something out here. And what the hell? Is that my head? I'm pretty sure it is. All right. Let's just take this off and see what this looks like outside. We haven't checked the window, so. Okay. Clearly, we. That's the front gate right here, and somehow that is a spotlight. Why would they need a spotlight in an asylum for children? All right. Oh, and I forgot, we still have the key, so we can use it. I think this key goes to here. Yeah, it is. All right, what's inside, then? A pen and a photo. Oh, so that's what our parent family looks like here. Yeah, you should always cherish the photos here. Your parents are gone, except for your Aunt Grace here. All right, so let's see what this looks like here. Okay, to happiness. And there's something written on the note right here. You can see me. Yeah, I know. That thing is just like right there. Phil is playing with his uncle, and his uncle is mad. Mad? Jesus, look all this. Is this what she's saying? Uh, okay. Okay. Alright, you know what? I think there's a downstairs right here, and then that one just says, You're, It was not me. What is this thing? Who did it? Who did it indeed? Alright, let's go down here and see what's down here. Abs no, absolutely not. You cannot tell her that. Oh, can't tell her that. Is that our Aunt Grace right here? Well, she has to know. You can't keep me away from her. The reason is more than clear, Grace. Yep, it is our aunt. No, it's not. I want to take her home now. You can't. Fran's mental condition is not appropriate yet. I'm pretty sure that we are... Yeah, we are mentally ill. We just witnessed... The... We just... We just... Uh... Well, you know what happened. I wonder what happened. But she has to tell me. I heard she, she has to tell you a lot of things. That doctor has no soul. I'm going home tonight. Of course he doesn't have a soul. He's a puppet. Oh no, Foxy Fox, don't cry. Use my hand as a tissue. Would you like a hug? Okay. So that's all we can do with the pills for now. Alright. So the door is locked. And uh, the note kind of said that we can combine. Now I wonder if we can combine the pin with anything else. Clearly we can't combine with that. What if we combine this with this? Huh. It's a key. I believe we just made ourselves a pick lock. We can use it on the door. Alright. Yes, to happiness. Indeed, like it said on the plot wall. Alright. We're in the middle of the hallway right here. 
Okay. Ah, let's see what this looks like. Whoa. What was that? Who was that? And the wine in the walls. Oh, boy. Okay. What's outside here? The maze. We never get to play here. Oh, and there's that maze. Yeah. And with the pills on, we saw boarded the boards or something. What the? You're my beloved friend. Bip, bip. If you want to hug me, try to catch me. Um, I know I'm gonna say this, but what have I got myself into when I saw it when I got the game? Anyway, I got this game on sale uh, on Steam. It was like three seventy something. It was a good purchase. And I thought, I've seen it back in 2015, and I it's been a long time, so I thought, maybe I want to try it. I want to try playing it. Alright, this must be the bathroom. Well, it is the bathroom. Let's see what this looks like. I don't like this. Of course you don't like this. Something wrote something here. Interesting, indeed. Alright, it's written backwards since it's uh, glass, so let's see. It says, the king... Likes drawings. Okay. That might be our first clue to proceeding through this game. Okay. Let's examine Red Puppet as a servant. And of course, snuggle, snuggle, old lady on your chair. And there's a clown. Uh huh. And more and more of that. Let's see who this child is. Her name is Adelia. Ad Adele. Lydia Fugents. I don't know. So apparently, a victim of sexual abuse by an unknown person, which almost killed her. And she's age seven right now. That is so horrible. Like, really horrible. Auditory delusions, hallucinations, and disorder. Thought disorder. Apparently, making progress. Let's talk to her for a bit. Hello. You see them, do you, you do, right? Uh, see what? The creatures that follow everyone. The shadows. You mean the shadows? We've been seeing that since we took the pills. Wish I didn't, but do you know what they are? I like to be inquisitive, guys. I will question everything. Well, tell me, please. <clears throat> You like to draw. I love to draw. Yes, I love it too, but tell me more about the shadows. A crayon, a crayon. I want to find a crayon. I draw all the time. Let's be nice, right? What are you drawing? Something. What is it? My dreams. Go now. Could we ask her again? Alright, let's get this, the dialogue here. I actually want to say about uh, the cat. Uh, give me a moment. I want to find my cat. Draw a cat if you don't have one. I could draw my cat, but I'd rather find him. Your cat is in danger. The shadows took him, I know. Who told you that? The one that follows me. Bye. Okay, we get a different answer. Alright, that's her doll right here. Alright, that's mine. My crayons. May I have it? I just like this green one so much. Can I have it? No, I won't be able to draw green. Then it's... That's ridiculous. But you do have many. I see two crayons. Two green crayons. <clears throat> oh, that's true. But you have so many colors. Yes, many colors. But you know, they don't like me drawing. Who? The nurses, they tie me up, and when I want to draw, I can't. The nurses are crazy, they are crazy. When I can't draw, I hurt myself. Then comes the red milk. Red milk. Oh my goodness. Poor kid, poor, poor kid. Ah, she is so injured. Well, I think I know what to do with it here. 
Well, when you have when you have an injury like that, it's sometimes we give them a little band-aid. All right. Oh, we have the crown. Nice. We have ourselves a green crown. That's nice. We just made progress for a bit. All right. Now let's see what the pill girl looks like. And I don't know what that implies. And she looks like a doll. You can see me. Of course I can see you. When even the purest things die in this place. Tiny hands all over you, eating your soul. Okay. Why do you look like a fabric doll? What have they done to you? You should blame yourself. Be quiet. It takes away your innocent inner child and devours it. And there's that clown. I see it. I'm pretty sure it will. It must be dead. I'm pretty sure it is dead. Okay, right, let's go back here then. Alright. We went to that world that was closed off. Let's go here and, of course, that nurse comes back at us. Ha! Huh, there you are. You should be in your room. The door is closed. But you left it open. I'm sure it's not open. I know, because I locked it. How did I get it out there? How did I get it out there? It was open. Hmm, don't try to trick me. Come inside your room and wait for the doctor. Uh, okay, we got a little bit detoured right there. And now we're back in our room. Alright, so... I guess we have to talk to the doctor again. Did you break out from your room? That's not nice, Fran. My kitty told me to leave, or I haven't eaten in days. Hmm. Let's say, but I'm hungry, sir. I haven't eaten in days. I will listen to any of your excuses, like me, lady. I'm not making excuses, sir. You have to learn to listen to, to those in charge. Of course, sir. Lesson learned. Just don't do it again, friend. Go eat now. Then back to bed. Uh, that doctor's a real, real um, bastard. But, um, <clears throat> but you know, try to do the job. Looks like we're at near the uh, entrance. Here. All right, let's take a look at the uh, okay. hanging woman. I don't. Okay, I should have said this before, but if you guys are uncomfortable with all this. I, it's a little warning. Um, look at this stuff. Okay, that's a clock there, and that's an eye in a clock. Alright. It's ticking. I'm pretty sure. Let's just go ahead and go over there. Alright, that's that guard here. Alright. I want to see what this looks like here. And reach the key, it says, and there's... That's going to be the distance. It's so bloody. There's a crunchy pickaxe. I'm pretty sure that might be a deli keys or some, and that's a pig. Ooh, that's sausages. Mm, should I go talk to the guard then? Sure, I could give you the key if you give me the keys. Mm, I don't. Eh, should I tell him to kiss your, kiss your butt? Or give me the key. Eh. Yeah, what a bastard. You can kiss your <laughs> Okay. I don't want to go further into implicate things like this. Alright, there's another character up here. Let's go speak to her. Hello, are you alright? What is that supposed to mean? Alright. I just wanted to know. Yeah. I'm a curious guy. Curious kid. The doctor will cut your head open if you don't leave. He likes to eat brains. He already took mine. He ate all my thoughts. He ate your brain? He will eat yours, too. I saw him inside the doctor's office. Oh, no. I have to go. I hope you find thoughts. Goodbye. Okay, let's take a look at this. Uh... I will laugh at you. I will lie to you. I hide you. Inside the shadows. Oh, what? It's, the bi it's a teddy bear that is injured. Okay. All right, let's go in this room. All right. That's Isabel here. There's a gorilla. More clowns. More elephants. 
that kid, uh, let's see, you see my kitty, he is the most funny and clever guy, which you like him, you would like him, and that kid, well, likes to watch TV, at least there's nothing on, alright, the soldier lost his leg during the war, and the cowboy ate the princess, the action man, could you either help me find my kitty, okay, paper boat, Alright, I wonder if this paper book can sail. Because if it sinks, I could probably drown. Alright. And let's check this coat rack right here. Oh, it seems we got a new item here. We got a crown, a hook, and a photo, and a sash. Why don't we talk to the boy? Talk to the kid. Hello, what are you doing? It doesn't work! My the paper just not working. What do you mean? <clears throat> The paper should be working, like they told me. What does the paper do? I'm pretty sure I have to approach this here. I need the paper to show me what's on the television. Mm, why isn't it working? I see, but why isn't it working? The waves must be powerful. Change the channel, please. Alright, let's... Okay. Let's change the channel set. Mm, is this good enough for you? It's actually something. Mm. That's not it. But it's either. Mm. Human test and approve. Oh, that's some news. Would you like to watch this news? No? Uh, it's a nature channel. Would you like that? Okay. Alright, let's try this one. Well, he seems satisfied. I guess he likes static. Great, can I see? No, this is mine. If you want, you can take the papers. That didn't work. Wouldn't that kill me? I never said that, you liar. I'm busy. Paper vision, re vision in action. Alright, we couldn't take the paper before. Now we can have a blank piece of paper. Alright. Again, you all know what's gonna be to do what I'm gonna do. Oh, he's shaking. Oh, his head blew up. Parts of his brain. Ooh. Okay. Oh no, they did it all wrong. They cut your head into little pieces. Please take me out of here. Please take me out of here. Okay. Make up Isabel. The black shadow is touching you. It says that you're going to die soon. Are you afraid of death? I hope not, because it may happen if you don't like it. We can click on the shadows too. Look at me. I say I care while you're dying of hunger and thirst. Okay, it's only gonna say that a bit more. Okay, the uh okay, the toys are moving and what the hell? That's my thing. that's her face on the screen right there. Okay, let's not waste any more time. Alright. Okay, uh, let's um, go in this room then. Okay, we're in a kitchen here now. Okay, let's talk to the nurse. Hello. Oh, hello, friend. How are you today? I see dead animals. Miss. You mean the television? No, I mean, for real. I just forget it. Very well, friend. Go play with your friends now. Okay, so there's vegetables, pasta, milk. Ooh, what's this? Ah, there's a cinnamon bun right here. I wonder if we could give it to anyone. Alright, what do we have here? Chocolate. Mm, yummy. And the bitter coffee. Eh, you don't like it. Now, what's the menu of the day? Is pasta. There's radio. The signal is weird. There's little lemonade, like, barely lemonade at all. Alright, let's see. There's a new kid here. Are you new here? Are you... Have I seen you before? No. Hmm. Are you from downstairs? Uh-huh. They think I'm better now. Hmm. Let's ask it for the name. What's your name? Could you please kill me, please? Sure. Hey, you are dead. <laughs> Thank you. I can't talk now. I'm dead. Yeesh. Hey, there's a... 
Mama, Mommy loved faint roses. And who is this? I don't like this painting. It feels Mr. Oswald staring at me. Mr. Might Knight, are you in there? I suppose not. Hmm. <laughs> I guess Mr. Oswald is very old, old enough to be dead. Alright. You know what time it is. Jail time. Okay. Oh no, the lady nurse has died. I wonder who did this. It wasn't me. Oh, we never interacted with the clock. Tick tock, tick tock, and somehow one of those shadows has a hold of this one. They hide you because they love you. They harm you because they hate you. Oh, little boy, everyone feels ashamed of you. It's like they're Nick. It's like they are attacking their little vulnerabilities. It will never stop. Oh, okay, we already clicked that. Yeah, I don't know what the shadows present, but I think it's pretty much bad, I think. Who are you? Okay. The whole, that holy man took all your clothes off. Oh, how pretty all these roses are, right? Your mommy doesn't believe you. Birdie bird, I like you. I wish you could take me out of here, can you? Alright, so... We see another kid here. Alright, let's look at the window. Because we saw two figures out there. Ah, oh, the playground. Good night, trees and moon. I'm pretty sure the playground is a good skate route. Oh, I like the bunny swing. Okay. okay, we see a hand. Just only the hand. I had a link close. Why don't we talk to this kid a bit? Don't just me. Go away. I am eating. Well, shame on you, sir. Shame on you, kid. Alright, let's... Don't touch my sword! I didn't know it was yours. It's a cane. It kind of looks like something we need. You should bow and speak too clearly to me. I am your king. Alright, let's be positive and try to get his favor. You know, positivity, you know? Farewell, my child. What is your purpose if you visit? <laughs> Sorry. Tongue twist. I want... I want your walking cane. What walking cane? Do you mean my sword? Yes, your highness. Your sword. Hmm. <laughs> what would you give me in exchange? Let's say anything you need, your highness. Bring me a castle and a horse. Only then I will grant you my sword. Well... We don't have any of those with us, but... I do believe... We can make one. So we have a castle and a horse. And why don't we give it to Damien? Oh! The king likes drawings. We gave him a drawing. He looks happy. Oh, that is beautiful, exactly what I dreamed. You can take my sword now, it's yours. Okay, so now we made some good progress. All right, we are now able to have the cane, to, have to take the cane. Alright, this door is always locked. So, alright, and there's the girl, uh, the, 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 the girl that walked us by. I want to see what she looks like in there. Okay, it seems like she doesn't show up in any of those these things, so I'm going to assume that she won't be able to show up in the pill world, so. Why don't we speak to her then? <clears throat> hey Annie, how are you? Aren't you afraid of me? No. Why would I? Why would I? Because I could do magical tricks and make you sleepy. I didn't know you could. Magical tricks. Show me. Show you. But it's very scary. It's better if you do it. Let's see. I can't. I'm not a magician. I could give you the magical stuff. Oh, I'm sure the magical stuff is very magical. <laughs> If I hear magical stuff in an insane asylum, I can only assume it's just drugs. It's not a good thing, to, not a good thought, but hey, it's what it is. Give drugs to kids in an insane asylum, and that is not good. Really? Woo! <laughs> yes, the magical stuff that will make anyone fall asleep. That is amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Powerful and grand. Here, as a gift, take it. 
slowly. Okay. We have pills. Thanks, I guess. Let's say thanks, I guess. Bye. Alright. It seems that she's just gonna walk. Alright, I have a question. Can we combine the pill with something? They are sleepy pills, and I just feel like it has a use for something. With... Cinnamon bun? Ah, it's a sleepy kick now. Alright, let's talk to him again. I told you a kiss for a key. What do you say, eh? Oh, he really is a bastard. Can we give him with, uh, drugs? I brought this cake for you. I don't want any trouble, so I brought this cake for you. I'm not interested in taking anything that comes from you. It'll make your life sweeter. <laughs> I don't care about making my life sweeter. Now leave. So you don't want it? No, now leave me alone. I'm pretty sure he hates his job, too. All he does is sit around and, is that? Sit around and just read his newspaper and ignore anyone's please. I don't know why, it's kind of bizarre that she's just walking way over here, so let's just follow her. I actually want to see where she's just heading to. I think she's just walking backwards. Yeah, she's just going to walk backwards, so let's just forget about it. I think we can double click to walk faster. So, um... Okay, let's just go all the way back into the kitchen area. And she's gone in here, too. Yeah, I think I mean, it's established she's just, just wandering around. Alright. We're back in the kit in the uh, cab uh, eating area, I guess. I told Marcel about the late about the latest delivery, but he hasn't looked at it yet. Oh god, she's one of those people that complains a lot. She's the she's a Karen. But um I will not uh, say anything more. Well, he will catch up soon. Hey, Gladys, would you like... Would you do me a favor? Sure, anything but bring the coffee to the guard. Why not? I can't do it because I have to take care of the children. I have no... I have other things to do to myself. Sorry. Oh. Jeez. She really hates her job. Yeah, I take care of the children, but you're reading a book. Okay, so... I think... What we could do is just bring the coffee. <clears throat> Hang on. Can we combine the coffee with this? No? Hmm. I think what we could do is bring this idiot some coffee. Can't do that. Can we use it on the table? Uh, things are, are not working. Makes me angry. I think we could just use the coffee with the guard. Here's your hot, hot coffee, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Look what you did, you insane orphan bitch. You did that on purpose. Now I have to go in and change. Gah, it's putting like hell. Don't go anywhere, you little... Yeah, I really should have cursed on that one, but you could tell that he's just extremely ungrateful. Why don't we just leave it on the table? I'm not sure what to do with this. Hang on, what can we do? What can we do? You know, I've been wondering by now, what can we do with the hook and sash? Can we use it on the keys? No, we can't just throw it up there. Oh, yeah. How about we could just use the cane with the keys? Too thick. Too thick. I wonder why. Can we combine this with this? Ah! I see. Oh, <laughs> the grabomatic. Alright. Let's use the keys then. Alright, regardless of the key, 
Now we can just unlock the office. Which one's the office? There's a note right there. Why don't we look at it? Okay. Documented. Alright. Can we use it on the office door? That's the office. Okay. That's the office. I want to see what this looks like here, and that is me right there. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it looks a lot like you. Well, I'm sedated, and I see weird stuff, but I'm not dead. I could breathe and talk, and all things a living person does. And that's where the doctor sits. Even though your eyes are open, you can't understand. Even though your eyes are bleeding, you can't feel. Don't hide what hurts. Let it hurt you. Alright. Let's examine everything here first. I wonder what people do at those gatherings. What a lovely painting. I wish I could draw that like that. Testing day. Every day is testing day. October, November. I guess we are in October now. What a tiny text. Thoughts of Marcel, Marcel Dern. Dear. An interview with Dr. Dern about working with children. I'm pretty sure experiment with children, but... Hmm, let's just call it that. Oh, wait. You are not alone. Join us today. Oh, it's what I was I am. I've seen this before. It's the... Wait, no. Dr. Marcel turn I didn't get to read it. Okay, let's look at everything. It's a typewriter, yellow typewriter. I think he likes yellow. I could write a letter with Aunt Grace. Dear Aunt Grace, take me out of here, please. Alright, there's a book. No pictures or funny riddles. Vision, taste, and hearing. I learned some of the stuff at school. I got hiccups. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the brain is complicated. Let's examine. Dr. Marcel, turn off the alarm from the security system panel in reception. The yellow door will remain open for two minutes until the alarm deactivates. Alarm code. December 17th, July 25th. Mm, okay, so... 1725? Alright. We got a key. Alright. Let's get out of here. Oh, Phil. A forgotten girl with no family or cat will die when the moon arrives. What do you mean? And he just locked us in here. Okay. Wait, can we hide here? Wait, 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 wait. He just locked us in here. Wait, he just locked us in here. Alright, let's take the pills. Oh! Something just opened this for us. Oh, what a weird hurl. I guess this is my way back. I wonder if Phil knew about this. Oh, yeah, he definitely is already in deep. He's a puppet now. There's a rat. <laughs> you should give it a helmet. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm, I don't think you can grab the other side. I'll just keep going and going. Yeah, you might fall off on that one there, uh, friend. Ah! <laughs> okay. Okay. We ended up at the basement. I'm on. Oh dear, where am I now? I guess I'll have to find out. Okay. I thought this would be, like, easy peasy. Be do it before 50 minutes, but no, uh, guess not. Let's see what we could grab here. Only if I were a witch, I could fly away from here. Mob that will dance on the floor. Let's see, there's a sink there. And I can't use it. What's this here? Is there anything behind? Is it just a bunch of boxes? What's in the box? Scrapped label. Hmm. Okay, that's just a lot of things. Oh, wait, there's a note. Uh, the patient is currently... is our current target. Target response is positive. Now expanding the triggered gland. Uh, does with the 1700 uh, MCG. Change the container so it looks like an approved variant of dual team. Oh, these are forged pills, then. Those are forged pills. I see what they're doing here. Oh, what? Oh my. Yeah, 
man, she just lies in a box. I pretty much saw the lies in the box in D. You really lose your head in this place. I'm pretty sure you lose everything in this place. Yeah. So, I think we're clearly we're in a basement. There's a key. And we just use the key. What the? Oh. If you struggle, you will know that it was I. I will be in every corner to make you suffer and cry. If you choose to disobey, your cat's life will be marked. Yeah, threaten me all you want. Yeah, threaten me all you want. And she faints. Alright, my dear kitty, we'll soon be together again, I promise. Alright, I think I can continue the chapter already. I love you so much, yeah, I love you so much. Why are you leaving? I think she's just dreaming. She got knocked out and she's just dreaming. Okay, we got our clue here. Okay, we got ourselves a clue. We have to find him in the maze. Alright. So that's where we need to go. Our escape route is at the maze. Thank you, Cat in the Dream. Come on. I fainted again. I wonder if my dreams are true. That monster won't let me go home. But if I find the maze, I can maybe I can find us the midnight. I'm pretty sure we just need to hurry up and get to him in time. Okay. Are we in Okay, what's this? Oh no, the poor girls. I hope they get well soon. I'm pretty sure they aren't. Their brains were... Itward. It says Itward. Wait. D. Draw it. Draw it. Oh... Those are poor children here. Oh. Yeah, you did peek. Oh boy, why do you have your brain out? <laughs> it's too warm in there. Oh. These were all the experimented children. Now who is this? Let's see. Patient Robert Clark, Psychosurgery Procedure Lobotomy. Okay. Wow. Wow. Really done it this time. <laughs> An operating room. I don't want to go inside. You shouldn't go inside. Yeah. Who is that, sir? Wake up. Yeah. Ooh. That's just. Yeah. You can't blame those who are ignorant, but you can't let ignorance decide. Life will reach you, teach you through the pain and tears. Life. Okay. I clearly am going to say this, that this was not uh, for the squeamish. Ooh, yes, I took the new one upstairs. Frambo? No, I haven't seen her. What, the key to the cellar? Well, no. In the doctor's office? He used to have a key there. Calm down, the key is not there. Not here. Sure, I'll let you know if it turns up, but you must calm down. Yes, I will bring it to you and find it. Alright, bye. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. We're at the reception. Okay. We clearly cannot walk. We have to get by her. I think I know how. Oh my god. Okay, that's just uncomfortable to see. Wait. Okay. I wonder if we still use this thing. Yeah. I wonder if I could just still use the bun. No, um, okay. Okay, so let's just go over here real quick. Alright, let's see the key. The key holder has no keys to hold. Alright. Okay, so... Let's use it on the key holder. Oh, the key was here after all. 
I better take it back. <laughs> oh my gosh. We can travel between worlds. Oh. Okay. Could we use it? The bun. Alright. How about here? There's a puzzle right here. Okay. I think it's nothing to do with this, so let's examine. Let's try. So we have a chance to get out of here. So let's just get out of here. Okay. You little bitch, I'm gonna make your life pay for it! Oh, oh! Oh, wow. Clever little girl, do you think you could just leave? Oh my, no, 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 we've escaped. What, you can't be? No! Something's pulling him back. He almost fell to his clutches and... It's that toy thing. It's that cat thing. <clears throat> Come on. Get up. You must get up. I need to get out of the, the maze. Yeah, we need to get to the maze. Let's follow that kitty. Let's follow that toy cat. Alright, man. Okay. I think he just fell unconscious. Yeah. Wait, do I need do I need my keyboard for this? Alright, we gotta follow. Alright, we gotta follow that. Alright, I can't lose this stupid cat. Okay, come on. Up we go. Up we go, up we go, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It's coming back, it's coming back. Okay, uh... Alright, we got to go right this time, right? Do we have to follow the stupid cat, or... Do we have to just go to the maze over here? I'm not sure what to do here. I'm just gonna go forward. I'm just gonna keep going forward. I think I may have gone the wrong way. I totally went the wrong way. It is a maze after all. I was trying to keep my keyboard. Oh my god, I went over an hour. I might have to, like, pause. Alright. Okay, we're going over here. Alright. I know that we, the cat may have gone north. Cat is it over here? Alright. We need to bypass this stupid thing. Oh, never mind, never mind. Uh, those shadows are patrolling this area. There. We need to go here. Go in there. I found my way out. Yay! Alright. At the end of the maze, we'll find... The evil critters of the night. What? They will hunt you, they will laugh. And there's our guy, our cat, but there will always be a good side. Hurry, go to the cat. A cat full of nuts and bolts. That must be some manifestation of Mr. Midnight here. Will always be your guide. Okay. Oh no, our photo! It's in the past. Go. You must live, friend. 
All right. Well, guys, that's about it for chapter one of uh, Franbo. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any more questions and if you want more content, please let me know in the comments down below. And please give my video a like and subscribe for more content like mine. So um, thank you for watching. And I hope to uh, do more of this uh, Frambo in the next video. So please let me, again, please let me know if you want more uh, Frambo. Alright, thank you. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.